By the end of this video, you'll have your camera out recording yourself making your first video. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith. And over the last 12 years, I've been helping business owners and nonprofits grow online. Now, one of the most successful things, the most strategic marketing tactics that we have used for not only myself, but for over 5,000 organizations that I've helped is creating videos just like this. Now, you know, it's important to create videos. You see all the biggest marketers online doing it, and you know that it brings in a lot of extra visitors, leads, and of course, customers, but you may be nervous. You may not be ready to start making videos. You might be scared to get on camera like this. Well, let me tell you this. It took me six months to talk myself into making my first video. I was nervous. I was scared. And quite frankly, every day I talked myself out of making it. I came up with excuses. I knew it was important. I knew it would help my business, but I just was a little too nervous and I did not have the right framework. And that's where I want to help you. I'm going to give you the framework that helped me get over being nervous, being on camera like this. Now, I didn't know what to say. I stumbled over my words. And in this video, even though I've made over 300, I'm still going to mess up and I'm going to have to go back and edit some parts. So I want to encourage you, don't get caught up on the being nervous, not knowing what to say, or just not knowing where to start being on camera. It's going to help. It's going to help build your business organization or nonprofit. It's going to bring more value to your audience and it's going to bring better relationships into your organization because you're speaking to them face to face, just like this. Now, what really helped me was having a structure, having some bullet points, knowing what I was going to cover in the bullet points and knowing exactly how I could structure that video. And then I could speak my mind after in today's video, I have a bullet point list. I've already memorized it. I wanted to start off telling you that I was nervous making videos. Then I want to get into some tips and bring some value to you. And then I'm going to end it by really encouraging you to pull out your camera and making your first video. One of the most popular YouTubers in the world, Mr. Beast, I think took over 300 videos before one went viral. He was just doing random things. Now they don't have to be perfect. And that's what really got caught up in my head is I want to make a perfect professional style video. And just like everyone else, right? I look at all these other videos. I look at other marketers and I'm think, oh, wow, there's no way my videos are going to be that quality. I don't have the team. I don't know what to say. My grammar is not the best, right? But I want to encourage you. It doesn't matter. One of the main things you want to think about in your head is how can I build better relationships with people online? I came from a fitness health and fitness background where I was personal training people one-on-one. -on -one, and I knew that building that relationship, meeting them face to face, they would most likely become a customer. But when we started working online, doing the digital marketing, that's really hard to do build personal relationships with people one-to-one. -one. And that's where these videos come in. I'm building a better relationship with you. You can see that I'm authentic. You can see that I'm trying to bring value to you. You can see that I'm trying to help. And if you ever do need my help, you'll come back and reach out to me because we have some sort of trust and brand awareness there. How can you do it for your business or nonprofit? How can you start making videos and bringing more value to your audience? You want to think about who your audience is. I'm thinking about you. You might be an entrepreneur, a business owner, or a nonprofit. CEO or founder, and you want to help more people online. You want to get more customers, help more people build your audience online. So of course you can make more sales. So that's what I want to help you with is making these videos will increase awareness, will increase trust and will increase sales. So where should you start? I want you to write down three bullet points today, three bullet points of three different ways you can help somebody. So think about, a common question people might be asking you. What's a common thing people ask you about your business? What's a common question your audience ask you for help with? And that's what is going to be the topic for your video. Then you want to write down three answers to that question. You know what people are asking you. Now you can write down three short answers, bullet point style. And then that's going to be your structure for the video. It has to be a minute five minutes, 10 minutes, however long it takes you to get your message out and provide that value. If it's going to be a longer style video like this. You might want to consider 
putting your phone horizontal so you can upload it to YouTube. If it's going to be a 30 to 60 second video, you want to turn your phone vertical for stories or reels. And then you want to start into that topic. You want to address that person's pain point or that common question. So for me, my question to you is, have you ever created a video? Have you ever made a video before? Have you ever made a personal style video? If the answer is no, then you want to listen to the rest of this video. That's how you want to start. You want to ask that question at the beginning. How, this is a common question I get, and this is how it can help. And then you want to structure those bullet points so you only have about three. You don't need 10 bullet points. You'll get lost. You'll have too much information there. So take those three bullet points in your head, and you can stop at each one. So bullet point one, answer that question, and then you can dive deep into your knowledge. You're knowledgeable about that question and about your service or your business. So now start with that question, dive deep into the video, and then you can stop and take a break. You can edit that section out. Then you can start on bullet point two. Review the topic, answer the question from the top of your head, and then pause and get ready for bullet point three. Once you get that through, you can hire somebody on Fiverr. I've got some video editors in the description of this video that you can use for five bucks that will edit those pauses out. A quick tip I want you to remember is if you're gonna stop and pause for the next section, make sure you continue making eye contact with the camera. And then you can look down, read your note. Before you start talking, look at the camera again, and then you can start speaking. That way they can edit that smooth transition out. So if I stop here, look down, look up, and start again, it's a smooth transition. No one will even know that you paused there in that video. Find somebody reliable to edit those videos. You know, five or 10 bucks is totally worth it. Or you can learn how to do it your own on Canva. Super easy. Then I want you to pick that topic and do it on a consistent basis. If you think you can only do one a month, do one a month. The goal, I think, would be to do one per week where you're providing value, answering common questions, and trying to help. What that's gonna do is it's gonna help build relationships. You can place that on your website, you can place it in your blogs, you can put it on all your social media networks, and I wanna highly suggest putting it on YouTube so Google will start picking up those keywords. Then you can start making videos about keywords that people might be looking for so you can start attracting a better audience. So if you're ready to start making videos, I want to encourage you to start. Grab your phone, turn it around, and start. It's going to be really rough. The first couple are going to be really bad. That's totally fine. Make a bunch of videos. I would say try to get to five before worrying about quality. Get your style. How, do you, how are you comfortable on camera? Uh, what's your good background? Is the bullet points a good method, or did you find another method? Try a couple different styles. See what works best for you. Use that framework and then make it consistent on a weekly or monthly basis. And the goal of these videos is to help your audience. The more you help them, the more they'll come back and ask to work with you. So of course, if you need any help with your videos, I have the video marketing playbook where I give you the exact steps to make videos like this. You can check it out on the, one of our websites, probably in the link in the description underneath this video. And in this playbook, I'm gonna give you the exact steps on how to start, how to use the camera, how to get the mic, how to structure the video, give you the bullet points, and how to get that first video out where you'll send it back to me and I'll give you some feedback on it and how to continue to improve. So now that you've watched this video, I appreciate you checking it out. Go get the playbook so you can start using that. And I'm looking forward to seeing your first video and I'll give you some feedback. It's gonna be awesome. Don't worry about quality. It's all about quantity at first, then you can improve quality later on. It's all about building better relationships.